So hi friends, this is Amit and you are watching my channel in person and educational video. This is the very important video for all the students of PWD who are looking for JOSA counseling 2022 or CSEP counseling. So here I will try to provide you all you need to know about JOSA counseling so that you will not do any mistake. That is, I will be talking about registration process, physical verification, schedule, as well as the documents that you need to have and the preparatory course. What is the meaning of that? Everything I will be discussing in the same video. So if you are first to my channel, please try to subscribe to this channel. And if you are not a PWDS friend, please try to share this video to a PWDS friend because these are the very important information and you will not find this type of information particularly for PWD on YouTube or in Google also because I am doing it from last 3-4 years so I have all the information so I will be providing you the complete information in this video and in the subsequent days also at the right time I will provide you the complete update about the counseling process so that you will not do any mistake and you will be able to join the best possible college by the end of this year counseling process so hope you get my point so let's continue this video is first of all let's talk about the registration so for registration you don't need to do anything just log in by using your j means uh, id uh, id and password that is application id and password if you have not qualified the j advanced exemption or if you haven't appeared in j advanced exemption if you have appeared and got a result that is rank then you can fill your j advanced detail that is the uh, application number as well as your password then you will able to see all your detail there it will be displayed then you have to pay the fee and then choice filling you have to do and in that i will be guiding you completely if you want you can contact me through instagram or whatsapp number there is a nominal charge for that if you want you can contact me anytime through instagram or whatsapp number the details are available in the description box that is everything physical verification choice spelling where you should go for physical verification if you are having some doubt in the physical verification i will be discussing everything and what will be done in physical verification everything i will be discussing with you separately so that you will be able to join the best college by the end of this year so hope you get my point so now let's talk about the verification that is physical verification so first of all i will suggest you don't be in fear because physical verification is just a process no need to worry if you have the document and you don't have any type of problem in the document i think you will not face any problem and this verification has been added in the counseling process from last year itself before that there was no physical verification but from uh, last year it has been added so i have guided over 300 students last year for pwd a student only another student there was lots of but for P pwd around 300 students was there and every student got the physical verification cleared and they got the good college uh, by the end of the admission process of last year so this year also i will be guiding you so now i will discuss what you need to do for the physical verification so here it has been written but i know everything what has been written i already read it and last year i have already provided it so for iit if you have qualified for iit then you will have to go to the iit college that is nearest to your home or anywhere you can go that will be available in the official website whenever you will do the registration for josa counseling there itself it will be available that is go for the physical verification and once you click on that they will ask you which day you want to go where you want to go so for iit student only iit list will be available for nit student that is if you have not qualified for j advance then you will be eligible for nit triple it and gfti college verification only and you have to go there you can go in any nit triple it gfti whatever you want uh, and the date for that is same that is from 12th to 21st of the september and if you will miss the date then you can do the same after getting seat suppose in first round you got the seat so after after that up to up to the last date of uh, the document upload you can do the physical verification also by going to the college it is not like you you will do it from your home you have to go to the college then only physical verification will be done and the similar thing will be done for both uh, college that is iit and nit triple it gfti you can see here all the thing has been written that is for nit also same so one more thing i would like to inform you there will be three uh, things required obviously first is a student who, who is going to take the admission second is the uh, pwd original certificate third is the id card it can be aadhar card or voter id card or pen card or anything also that is government id proof so yeah these three things will be required there and once you do that thereafter in your website it will be shown that you are eligible for the counseling process your physical verification is done so what if you want you can do it in the first slot that is first is first means from 12 to 21st otherwise you can do it from so in the second interval also that is during the actual counseling in first round if you will get the seat you have to do that it is not like you can do in the second round if you will not get any type of seat you will not able to do in first round but if you will get the receipt in second round or third round whenever you will get the seat for the first time you will have to go to the that college only you will not able to choose a particular college nearest to your home 
if you will get any college in any part of india you will have to go to that college for the physical verification so it is a little bit risky because you will have to travel too much so that's why counseling process is very important choice filling is very important that's why i am here to guide you completely if you want you can contact me through instagram or whatsapp number there is a nominal charge for that so this was about the physical verification so now let's talk about the next question that is document so what are the document that you need to have so during the josa counseling registration no, no document will be required but once you get the seat you will have to upload the uh, upload the document that i am showing you here that is class 10 marks in class 12 uh, and your category certificate if you are from scst or ews or obc and your original pwd certificate as well here same has been written medical certificate also and cross bank check copy or image of your passbook that is the bank passbook it can be your parents passbook also or your family member passbook as well if you don't have the bank account if you have you can provide that will be used for the refund if you will not take the admission later and the medical certificate you can make uh, you can make with the help of any uh, doctor look uh, in your locality you can go to government doctor also or private uh, private doctor also can do the same because these are the formalities only and uh, uh, jay means admit card also will be required so this was all about the document that you need to have in the nits for iit also for iit is also similar type of thing is required here it has been written so now once again i would like to advise you counseling is very important do it very carefully and for pwd a student especially i am making the video because there are lots of student who did mistake last year and they were regretting later so i don't want to make you regret later so please try to do it very carefully i'm not requesting or asking you to contact me if you don't have the information you should contact any experienced person you can contact me because i am having the experience from last 3 4 years if you have all the information or your parents have the information in this field you can do it by yourself as well so now let's talk about the next question and the most important question that is the preparatory courses what is the preparatory rank what is the meaning of this course and what is this course and what is the outcome of this course so everything i will be discussing here so right? now i would like to introduce the philo app where you can get the solution of all your question doubt or you have problem with any type of concept related to j or neat or boards examination then you can get the solution 24 by 7 with this three easy steps that is first you have to download the philo app in the play store and then you have to do the sign up process using your mobile number and after that take the photo of your question and upload that in the app and after that within 60 second you will be connected to the india's best educator okay, question आप ना कहना चाहते हैं कि बल्ब की पावर कितनी है अगर बल्ब जो है वो 220 वोल्टेज पर ऑपरेट हो रहा है राइट इस बैटरी का जो वोल्टेज है वो आपको गिवन है 220 तो ये आपको सिंपल रिलेशन हो गया यहां पर अब अगर कोई आपको और डाउट है तो बताइए सो विदाउट वेस्टिंग योर टाइम डाउनलोड द फिलो ऐप लिंक इज अवेलेबल इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स एंड यूज द कोड IEB001 यू विल गेट द 10% इंस्टेंट डिस्काउंट दैट इज IIT कंडक्ट द प्रिपरेटरी कोर्सेज फॉर द for the sc st and pwd a student only not for general ews obc only for sc st and pwd candidate try to listen my word very carefully and the admission is given to the candidate in preparatory course provided the seat is reserved for the respective category suppose there is a reserve, uh, reserve seat that is available for sc category that is sc reservation seat in iit will be remaining vacant then that seat will be given to sc sc preparatory rank a student that is for preparatory courses similar for st and pwd also and the eligibility for preparatory course is that you haven't taken the admission last year that is if you are a dropper you haven't taken the admission in preparatory course last year if you haven't taken that then you will able to take the preparatory course now and with this preparatory course you have to do two examination that is two semester examination once you clear that then you will be eligible for the original course that is same course the disadvantage is that you will lose one year and advantage is that next year you will able to get the btech course directly there will be no requirement of the advanced examination if you want you can appear in the advanced examination to get more better iits more better branch but if you will not appear then also you will eligible to take the admission once you clear both the examination so hope you get this information very useful and now if you talk about how i will fill the choices for preparatory courses so there is nothing like you have to fill the other choice filling similar choice filling you have to do and the same choice filling whatever you will fill for nit triple it there itself you have to fill the iit college and once you will be eligible for preparatory course you will be getting the seat in the allocation and once you get the seat you can take the admission so it will be very confusing at the choice filling that whether i should go with an iit college that is with csc or ec or with the preparatory courses because you will be getting the option of iit so that i will be discussing with you based on your based on your family condition based on your expectation whatever you want after 4 years so everything will be discussed first there after i will able to provide you the complete information and suggestion and day by day i will be guiding you for all the process so that you will able to join with the best 
so this was all about the complete information about preparatory course and this concludes this video that is everything i have discussed there is preparatory rank what is the preparatory course document required for iit and it everything i have discussed and and also i have discussed about the physical verification that you have to do for the counseling process that is for pwd student only that is the physical verification that you have to do so i hope you get this information very useful for you so please try to subscribe this channel so that you will be getting the complete information about j main j advanced as well as other counseling other interest exam also in this same channel thanks